गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाय माउरिसियो हाउ आर यू डूइंग I... Oh, sorry, Hello? couldn't hear you. Yeah, now I hear you. And so, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, great. And you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing well, thanks. Okay. So, how was your day? Busy, busy. It was busy. Okay. You have a lot of work. It was busy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have a lot of work. All right. And how about the platform? Did you have any time to practice there? Today I can do, but tomorrow I have all day because okay. it's is my off day. <laughs> And tomorrow uh, I work in, in the platform, in the platform. That's nice. Okay, excellent. Um, so okay. hi, Isabel and hi, Jason. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. <clears throat> How was your day, Isabel? A little busy. Okay. So what did you do? I'm working. Okay. Very good. And Jason. Okay. I'm glad to hear that you're fine, Jason. You had a busy day too. Um, studying or working, Jason? All right, pretty good. Arturo, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. And how was your day? It was nice. It was just good. I didn't have much to do today, so Great. it was nice. <laughs> and how about yours? Um, I'm happy. I have tired day. Oh, it was tiring? Tired. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you continue working in the platform? Yeah, I am in section five. Section Find five already. Excellent. Five point eight. Nice. You're almost done. Okay. Pretty good. Good evening, Roberto. Good evening, teacher. How is it going? How are you? I'm fine, you teacher. Excellent. I'm doing well, thanks. Very good. Did you work today? Good evening. I a little book. Okay. So how was your day? Um, how? ¿Qué tal su día? Was it good? Um, bad? Um, so so? Good. So 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 oh, so so. Okay. I am probably in COVID. Oh really? That's yeah. so bad. But I mean, <laughs> tomorrow, yeah, I be be. Best, so yeah. better, better. Yeah. Exactly. Let's hope that tomorrow will be better. Definitely. Yeah. And how about the platform, Roberto? Did you have any time to work today? Yes, I review on the lesson um, number five. Okay, you're in lesson five already. Very good. Yes. Okay, do you guys have any questions about the platform, any exercises or any topics? No, no, 
Uh, no questions? Oh, oh, no, no, I don't know. So far, Thank so you. good. <laughs> Please go. Okay. Thank you. All right, nice. And how about the past? ¿Cómo vamos con el pasado? ¿Han comprendido bien? Eh, ¿Tienen alguna consultita? Um, um, un poco. Um, más, que, más que todo, con, estaba um, revisando el auxiliar. Eh, did, yes. De, con, con el auxiliar que he estado, he estado um, revisando. Ok. So yeah. just remember that whenever you use did, you do not need a verb in the past, but in the present. Ahí es importante uh -huh. recordar que el verbo cuando utilizamos for, did, form. tiene que estar en el in form. form. Uh -huh. O sea, en el eso, presente. Ajá, uh -huh. eso es lo que... Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Sí, eso es lo que he estado en. Ven for y en el auxiliar. Did. Ok. Did. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi, Joshua. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. How's it going? Hey. How are you? Mm. Very well. Okay. Excellent. How was your hey. day? My day. Mm -hmm. uh, is fine. Mm. Did you have to work? Something. Yes. Uh, in my work, I. Eh, creo que... Bueno, estuvo tranquilo. <laughs> okay. It was okay. It was calm or quiet. Yes. Okay. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, pretty good. Good evening, Carla Enriquez. Hi, Carla. Okay. So let's see, I think we are ready to start. So let's do it. So let's start by reviewing the negative sentences in the simple past. So yesterday we talked a little bit about that. What do you remember? What do we use to make sentences in the simple past, negative form? So what do we need? ¿Qué necesitamos para las oraciones en negativo? In the simple past. What's the auxiliary we use? Actually, the did or didn't. Okay, did not or didn't. Did not, didn't or did not. Mm -hmm. Also, after the did not or didn't, we need the. Yes, an um, um, not, not negative. Okay, the not for First the one. negative. And then the verb, right? We need the verb in the base, in the form. base verb. Very important. Form. We do not change it to ed or ing or anything. Just use the base form. And, and the same structure that we follow for any sentence, right? We use the subject, then did not or didn't, the base form of the verb. After that, we add a complement and that's it, right? So now let's practice. We are going to make sentences in the negative by using the popcorn sentences. How does it go? Well, each of you is going to have a chance to say a sentence in the negative 
And after that, you are going to say popcorn and you are going to choose one of your classmates. For example, I can say, I did not study English yesterday. Popcorn, Arturo. Arturo, now you say a sentence in the negative and then you say popcorn and you choose one of your classmates, okay? Okay. Um... I didn't run yesterday. Popcorn, Roberto. I didn't didn't play um yesterday. Okay. Now say um, popcorn in uh, Mauricio. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a problem. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't <laughs> listen to instruction because I have to change the 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 tablet to the phone because I downloaded the tablet and I didn't hear what we were doing. Okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, so, Carla, Carla, Enrique, gente. Okay. 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 Um, I didn't do. I didn't play yesterday. Mm -hmm. Only that I didn't, uh, I didn't play yesterday because right. Okay, I didn't play yesterday because it rained. Very good. Now say popcorn and select a classmate. Okay. Lorena Arevalo. Popcorn, I didn't sleep good tonight. I know who is fine. The other Carlita? Play. Oh, that would be Carla's Ritos. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. It's not. Yes, I didn't. Yes, I didn't go to the supermarket yesterday. Very good. Popcorn. Popcorn. Isabel. Uh, I didn't exercise. Popcorn. Uh, Anna Ruth. I didn't work at platform today. Popcorn. Jason. Okay, Jason says, I didn't have dinner yesterday. She doesn't have a microphone. No tiene micrófono, pero acá no se está escribiendo en el chat, okay? So I didn't have dinner yesterday. Don't worry, Jason. Thanks. So that would be popcorn Joshua. I didn't uh, take a shower this morning. Okay. Popcorn? Uh, popcorn. Popcorn. Uh, Laura Bayona? I didn't brush my teeth today. Popcorn. Okay. Uh, Carla Enrique. Only Mauricio is missing. <laughs> okay. I I didn't not uh, I didn't not uh, sleep on the night. Okay. Pretty good. Thank you. So that was nice. You You're know welcome. how to make sentences now. Just remember 
the verb goes in the base form, in the present, and also we use didn't or did not. Una de las did dos not. formas, pero no las mezclamos como didn't not or anything like that, okay? Did not, okay. I did not eat breakfast. Or didn't, I didn't eat breakfast, didn't. okay? Una de las dos formas. Okay, yes. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about time expressions for the past. So in the same way that we have some expressions for talking about the future, we also have some for the past. Of course, the first one is yesterday, right? Ayer, yesterday. Then we have yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, or yesterday evening. También podemos conjugarlas de esta manera para decir la mañana de ayer, o ayer por la mañana, ayer por la tarde, ayer por la noche, right? And also, in English, there is no word for anteayer. En inglés, en realidad, no tenemos una palabra específica para decir anteayer. Entonces, um, yes, Jason, you can also say uh, yesterday night. También podemos utilizarlo con night, yesterday night. Pero eh, en realidad está la expresión last night, que es más utilizada Y sería más comprensible, digámoslo así. Last night, que sería anoche. Ok. So, um, les decía que en inglés no tenemos una palabra para anteayer. Entonces debemos decirlo de esta forma. The day before yesterday. El día antes de ayer, right? The day before yesterday. That's how you say it. Then we have last night, la que les mencionaba, last night. last night, anoche. Also we have last Monday, last Thursday, last Saturday, last Tuesday, last Wednesday, and any day of the week you want to mention. Next ones week. are last week, last month, last or month. last year. <laughs> La semana pasada, el mes pasado, el año mes pasado, pasado, right? Pasado. And we also have this word ago. También tenemos esta palabra ago, que es para decir hace, for example, two days ago, hace dos días, two days ago, or one day ago, three days ago, ten days ago. Or also you can use it with week, months, or years, right? Two weeks ago, I went to the beach. Or um, let's see, five months ago, I was in New York. Okay. Also, another okay. expression we have is, well, mentioning the specific date in which something happened. For instance, in Sign. 2015. In 2015, in 1995, in 2004, and so on. También podemos mencionar la fecha en la que algo nos pasó. Eh, también sería en el pasado, ¿verdad? Um, do you have any questions about any of the words here or the expressions? No questions. So please repeat. Yesterday. No question. Yesterday. Okay. Yes, yesterday. 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 Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday. Day afternoon. Day yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. Yesterday, yesterday evening. The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. Before yesterday. Last night. Last, Last night. night. Last night. Last Monday. Last, last, Monday. Monday. last Monday. Last Thursday. 
Last, last Thursday. Thursday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last, Saturday. last, Saturday. last week. Last, last week. week. Last month. Last, last month. month. Last year. Last year. Last year. 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 One day ago. One day ago. One day ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days, two days, ago. days ago. Three days ago. In 2015. Okay. Very good. So now I have some examples on how to use those expressions. The first one says, I didn't eat pizza yesterday. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Can you read the next one, Roberto, please? I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Next one, please. Next one. My father didn't work yesterday morning. Thank you. Carla Enriquez, can you read the next one? Bob did not stay home the day before yesterday. Thank you. Next one, Noemi. I didn't sleep well last night. Okay, thanks. Let's see, Anna Ruth, read the next one, please. Anna Ruth? Oh, okay, don't worry, Anna Ruth. Um, Arturo, can you help me with this one, please? My sister didn't go out last Sunday. Okay. My sister didn't go out last Sunday. Thank you, Arturo. Next one, Lorena. Thank you. Next, Mauricio. I didn't go the cinema two days ago. Okay, thank you. Okay. And our last example, let's see who hasn't read. Um, Joshua? I didn't travel in 2005. Okay, thanks. All right, so as you see, we add the time expressions at the end of the sentence. Seguimos siempre la misma estructura, subject, did not or didn't, then the verb, the complement, and at the end, we add the time expression. Al final es que agregamos la expresión de tiempo. Yesterday, yesterday morning, the day before yesterday. Acá las tenemos todas al final, ¿ok? También se pueden okay. utilizar al inicio algunas, pero eh, la forma en que lo usamos comúnmente es esta, al final. But you can also say, for example, in 2005, I didn't travel. Or last Sunday, my sister didn't go out. Si se pueden cambiar de, de posición, se pueden utilizar también al inicio, pero como les decía, la forma más común es agregarlas al final. And then there was a question from Laura over here. Estaría bien decir two days before. En el caso de la oración esta, Laura, como Bob did not stay home the, like two days before or something like that. ¿A eso se refiere, Laura? Um, sorry. I cannot hear. All right. 
it it seems I'm having trouble again with my connection. Sorry about that. So Laura, eh, entonces se refería al ejemplo que le di, más o menos. Or, or what do you mean? Sí. Es que uh -huh. quería saber si en lugar de decir eh, three days ago, podría decir three days before. Porque me he fijado que a veces en las películas ponen before en lugar de ago. Uh -huh. eh, sí, sí se puede. Sin embargo, el más utilizado sería ago. Ok. Ok. That's... All right, you're welcome. Ok, any other questions? No more? All right, so let's continue then. So, um, well, in today's lesson, the objective we have is by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So yesterday we talked about the negative. Today we're talking about the yes, no questions. So what do we have for that? Well, let's check this example in the simple present. Tenemos acá un ejemplo en el presente. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Utilizamos el auxiliar do, o en el caso de la tercera persona, does. And then the answers could be yes, I do, or no, I don't. Para responder, nuevamente utilizamos el auxiliar do or don't in the negative. Then we have the simple past. Ahora vamos a contrastarlo con el pasado. Y tenemos did you work yesterday? Did you work yesterday? So as you see, the only thing that we change is the auxiliary. In the simple present, we use do or does. In the simple past, we have did. Si se fija, seguimos la misma estructura. Solo cambiamos el auxiliar que va del mm -hmm. presente do a did en el pasado. Luego so, tenemos un sujeto, you. El verbo que se mantiene igual en el presente. Igual recordar acá well. que no, no cambiamos el verbo. Porque el auxiliar did ya nos indica pasado. Entonces no necesitamos ninguna ed, ni cambiar el verbo, ni nada. Simplemente lo usamos en la base form. Y al final agregamos el complement and the question mark. And then for the answers in the simple past, we have yes, I did or no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ok, las respuestas de igual forma van con el auxiliar. En el presente, do or don't. En el pasado, did or didn't. So here you have the structure. We have did, then the subject, the verb in the present, the complement, and the question mark. Some other examples. Did she come last week? Did she come last week? And what would be the answers? Yes. Yes, she did. Yes. yes, she did or no? No, she does. She... No, she didn't. Didn't, didn't. right? Yes, she, she did didn't. or no, she didn't. Yes. Yes, she did or no, she didn't. Okay, and another example, did they travel to Canada last month? Did they travel to Canada last month? What could be the answers? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Or no, they no. didn't. No, they, didn't. they didn't, right? Okay. So that will be it. Acá solamente fijarnos en la respuesta de ir cambiando según el sujeto que tenemos en la pregunta. Aquí estamos hablando de she. Respondemos también con she. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. The same happens in the next question, they. 
So we change it to they. Yes, they did or no, they didn't. Okay, is it clear? Yes? Yes. Great. So now it's time to practice. Here I have some questions for you to ask and answer. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to have some time to take turns to ask and answer. For example, Arturo, did you have a hamburger for dinner? Yes, I did. Okay, great. So that's what you have to do. Then maybe Arturo can ask me a question, I answer and so on, okay? So um, I'm going to send the questions to the chat. So you have them. And I'm sending you to the breakout rooms now. Okay, please accept the invitation. Are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> no, my copy. Did you buy one? No, no, no. Okay. Mando la imagen. Teacher. Hi. Mando la imagen al grupo. Yes, I just sent it. I landed. All right, I boy. I boy. Okay. I boy, I boy. Okay, uh, I have the question and answer only. Yes, exactly. One, one, a turn. You make the first one and I answer, then I make the question and you ask. Okay. Um, did you have a, bur a burger for dinner? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, ahorita que sí. Did your mom visit you at work? Uh, yes, I did. Yesterday, visit my mom. No, did your mom okay. visit you? Did yes, you I didn't. No, so in that case, Carla. We are talking about I your mom, okay? Mm -hmm. No, this is your mom. This is your mom. So you say yes, she did, I... or no, she didn't? Because okay, we're yes, talking about your mom. She did. Yes, she did. Oh, okay, uh, Lorena, did you, oh, no, 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 did you travel to New York last year? Oh, depende. You last weekend. Oh. Ah, porque son, primero vamos a hacer positivo, ¿verdad? Okay. Positivo, yes, sí. She yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, did it? Did it? You travel to New York last year? Yes. Yes. Um, did. I did. Yes, I did. Uh, did you, brothers? Brother, sister, give you a gift on your last birthday? Yes. He or she? Uh huh, he or she. Did. Sería cuatro. Yes. Hello. 
Hi, girls. Hi, este, creo que ella tiene un problema con, con, con el audio, o no sé, porque también le escribí y no me contestó. Sí, sí, me mencionó que tenía problemas, a lo mejor con la conexión. No sé, Ana Ruth, si puede utilizar el chat. A lo mejor ahí pueden estar practicando. Let's see. Yeah, maybe not. No sé si me, me comentó que tenía problemas Ana Ruth. So, Carla, let me ask you and you can ask me, okay? So, let's see. Did you have a hamburger for dinner? I didn't have. No, no, sorry. No, I didn't have a hamburger for dinner. Very good. Now you ask me. Uh, Did you go to the supermarket yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay, next one. Did your mom visit okay. you last weekend? Hola. Um, yes, did your mom Hola. visit you? Can you hear me? ¿Me escucha, Carla? Le escuché cortado, lo último. Oh. Ahorita sí. Ok. So it was, did your mom visit you last weekend? Uh, yes, she didn't. She did. She did. Ok, pretty good. Yes. Now you ask. Ok, did you eat pupusas yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. And how about, um, did you eat pasta last week? Repeat, please. Did you eat pasta last week? Um, yes, I, I did. Excellent. Your turn. Okay. Uh, do you take a shower yesterday? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I did. Excellent. Okay, um, Carla. Um, so I'm moving to the other groups because we'll get back in just one minute, okay? Okay. All right, see you later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <clears throat> No, but I drink milk. Sería así? Uh, no, no, I not, but I drank. I drank, es porque sería el verbo ah, en pasado. Ah, tomé, es cierto. I drank. Uh -huh. Teacher, estamos yeah. intentando la respuesta larga. Ah, ok, excelente. <laughs> So yes, just remember Entonces, that whenever you use long answers, you need to change the verb to the past. En esos casos vamos cambiando el yes. verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, sí, yes. de eso me acabo de dar cuenta. Entonces, me recuerdo que no me lo sé. <laughs> oh, bueno. Tengo mucho que aprender. Yes, sí. we're going to practice, don't worry. Vamos a seguir practicando durante esta semana y la otra, así que ahí vamos a irnos. Eh, aprendiendo los verbos poco Excelente. a poco. Excelente. Sí, great. porque eh, yo estaba diciendo eh, tomé, entonces en presente. Oh, ok. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Sí. Está confirmando con el yes, I did. Ahora, si ya para cambiarle, entonces para ah. alargarla, entonces sí te tiene que usar el verbo en pasado, que es drunk. Drunk. Mm -hmm. 
Dream, drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're getting back okay. to the main session in just one minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, Isabel and Anna. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Hi. Yes. Okay, do you have any questions? Yes. No, con la cuatro tengo duda. Number four, no, let me no. check it. It says, did your brother or did your sister give you a gift on your last birthday? Mm -hmm. So, um, su hermana o su hermano le dieron un regalo en su último cumpleaños? He puesto las dos opciones porque sé que no todos tenemos hermanas o no todos tenemos hermanos, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí ustedes uh -huh. si habla de su hermana, your sister, it would be she. Yes, she did or no, she didn't. Pero si hablamos de uh -huh. nuestro hermano, brother, yes, he did or no, he didn't. Ahí nada más cambiamos uh -huh. okay. dependiendo de, de la persona de la que estemos hablando. Bueno, ahora sí. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome. All right, so we're getting back to the main session, okay? okay. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So, all right, so we're back. Let's check. First of all, do you have any questions about any of the of the questions we were practicing? <laughs> any doubts? <laughs> No. Okay. So let me ask some of you. Yes, I have a question. Okay. Tell me. Uh, how is the difference between use auxiliary did and was? Okay. So remember that the verb be is a very special verb in English. So we always have different forms for it, like in the present. For the verb be, we have am, is, or are. And for all the other verbs, we have um, the simple present like do or does. And we also add es or es to the third person, right? So it's the same in the past, except that we have did for the, for the auxiliary. And, and we have um, ed. For the regular verbs, we change the irregular ones. And then we have the special verb, be. And it has two different forms, was and where. Recordemos que siempre el verb be es un verbo especial en todos los tiempos. Entonces va a encontrar distintas conjugaciones. A eso nos referimos también con el was y where. Para todos los demás verbos, utilizamos la estructura que estamos estudiando en este momento. El auxiliar, did. En el, en el negativo didn't, did not. Y eh, para los verbos regulares agregamos ed. Para los verbos irregulares tenemos ahí el cambio. Pero el verb be, como es tan especial, tiene dos formas distintas, que son was o were. Entonces sería eso. O sea, siempre que decimos was or were, estamos hablando del pasado de ser o de estar. Were you home yesterday? Estuvo en su casa ayer. Were you home yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for, for okay. the explain. Okay, you're welcome. And also we are going to study more about was and where next week, okay? También vamos a estudiar un poquito más de was y where la próxima semana, okay? Para que tengamos ahí un poco más claro. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So let me hear some of your answers. Let's see, Noemi. Did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, I didn't. Okay. Very good. And Mauricio, did your mom visit you last weekend? Yes, she did. Great. Carla Enriquez. Did you travel to New York last year? No, I didn't. All right. 
Next one, Joshua. Did your brother or sister give you a gift on your last birthday? No, he didn't. Okay. Um, let's see, Arturo. Did you learn Chinese two years ago? Yes, I did. Wow. Right. Great. <laughs> Carla Cerritos. Very well. Bárbaro. Carla yes, Cerritos. Master. Did you celebrate last Christmas? Yes, I did. Excellent. Isabel, did you eat pasta last week? No, I didn't. Okay. Laura, did you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I did. Very good. And Ana Hernandez, did you work yesterday afternoon? Yes, I did. Very good. Let's see who's missing. Lorena, did you complete any exercises in the platform yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay, pretty good. All right, so just um, a little comment about the second one. We have the subject, your mom. So it says, did your mom visit you last weekend? Tu mamá lo visitó la semana pasada o oh, el fin de semana pasado? <clears throat> so in order to answer, you must use she, right? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. Estamos hablando de su mamá, entonces tiene que ser ella. Yes, she did or no, she didn't. Hay que prestar mucha atención al sujeto que se utiliza en, en la pregunta para responder utilizando el mismo sujeto. Si estamos hablando de Mary, sería she. Si estamos hablando de your father, for instance, it would be a he. Or if we're talking about Jason and Laura, then it would be they, right? Ahí vamos cambiando dependiendo del sujeto del que estemos hablando. O que hablando. Estemos hablando okay? All right, so now it's time to practice uh, um, some listening. So I have a listening exercise for you. I am going to play a conversation. You have to listen and you have to write down the questions you hear. Okay, so the questions are in the past. You are going to listen and write the questions. Les voy a poner una conversación, escuchamos y vamos tomando nota de las preguntas en el pasado que escuchemos. Therefore, so let's see, are you ready? Ready, yes. Great. Ready. Okay, so ready. listen and write the questions. Did you like it? So... Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look. Okay, did you get the questions? Did you like it? Did you like, you like it? Mm -hmm. Do you, did you, did you have fun? Did, did, you, have did you have fun? Did you have fun? Okay. Perfect, okay, did you have go? Have go? Did you go anywhere did, last summer? Did it go exactly. Arizona summer? Did you go anywhere last summer? And we're missing did one. Did you have fun? That's it. Did, did you it. have fun? Very good. Okay, excellent. So now let me just show you the conversation. So yes, the four questions we have are did you go anywhere last summer did you go anywhere last summer mm -hmm. did you like it did you go hiking there that one we were missing 
Did you go hiking there? Hiking. And then we had, did you have fun? Did you have fun? So now take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have any questions or any doubts about any of those words or the pronunciation of any of them. Not with no. Any questions? Yeah. Rafting. What is rafting? What is the meaning? Rafting. Yes, the meaning of rafts, the rafting. So that is an extreme sport that is practiced in a river. Es un deporte extremo que se practica en ríos, principalmente oh, yes. ríos con, eh, con una corriente un poquito fuerte. Um, si pueden ver la imagen acá en, uh, en el video. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, ellos están practicando rafting. Sería eso, utilizar una, no sé cómo llamarla en español, tal vez balsa o realmente mm -hmm. no sé, es como un como flotador grande, ¿verdad? Es una cuestión como de, de flotador. Y como llevan acá las, sí, ¿verdad? Una balsa. Es una balsa. Ok. Bueno, so, rápidos. Y llevamos los remos. Eso sería rafting. Ok, thanks. Mm -hmm. Ok. Any other questions? Do you know what hiking is? Hiking? Yes. Is... Hiking. Mm -hmm. What is okay. Escalar? Hiking? No, that is climbing. Mm -hmm. Escalar sería climbing, pero cuando hablamos de hiking, mm -hmm. caminata. we're talking about, exactly, eh, tomar caminatas. Uh -huh. Hacer caminatas, tomar caminatas, okay, thanks. hiking, go hiking. Okay, any other? No more questions? No, okay, no more great. questions. So now it's time to practice the conversation. I, I just send it to the chat. And I need two volunteers to read it. Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio and me. Who's that? Me. Uh, Carla. Okay, Carla, thank you. Okay, so Mauricio, start. I am Laura. Yes. <laughs> read. Okay, uh, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went uh, to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you hike in there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went right water rafting on the Colorado River. Whoa, I didn't have fun. Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, who's next? Do I have another pair of volunteers? Lorena. Laura. Lorena and who was that? Laura. Laura. Yes. Okay. Pretty good, Lorena, yeah. you can start. <laughs> okay, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, great. Thank you, Laura and Lorena. All right, now I need you to repeat anywhere. 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 Summer. 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 Went. 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 Went is the past of? Oh. Of go, exactly. So we have go, went. Then went. we have the verb so. Repeat, please. So. 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 That is the past of? C. C, exactly. C. C. So. Okay. So. Um, repeat, please. Canyon. Canyon. Hiking. 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 
Loved. 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 Okay, so that is the best of love, right? Love, loved. Love, loved, love. Okay, also say didn't. 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 Actually. 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 Road. 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 Road is the best of. Right. 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 Exactly. Repeat, please. Horses. 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 Siempre Horses. recordemos cuando tenemos palabras en plural, siempre cambia un poquitín ahí la pronunciación. Horses. En este caso, horse, horses. Horses. Ok, then we have rafting. 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 River. 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 And let's see, had. 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 Had is the past of? Had. Have. Have. have, right? Have, had. Have. Okay, pretty good. So now let's move to. Oh. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Okay, so now we're going to just move to the platform and we're going to develop this exercise number 4.12. Este ejercicio está relacionado a las preguntas. Vamos a resolverlo. Eh, si ya lo han hecho, perfect. Y si no lo han hecho, tal vez, eh, si gustan, podrían hacerlo también en la plataforma, el ejercicio 4.11. So there you have to unscramble the questions. For example, we have, have you did summer a good in the question mark? So you make a question out of that. You put it in the right order. Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? That's what you have to do, okay? So let's see, the first one. We have watched television, did you last night? What would be the question there? Did you watch, watch, television? watch television last night? Did you watch television last night? Did you watch television? And then the question mark. And also, let me just mention about these two words. Watch and wash. En cuanto a la pronunciación, esta sería watch. 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 Y esta va como wash. 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 Entonces acá esta T, watch. digamos que nos acorta watch. el sonido. Si escucha, watch. es como que lo paramos. Watch. 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 En cambio, esta es un sonido continuo. Esta es el, wash. SH va como wash. 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 I watched watch you wash the dinner. Uh, yes, I watched TV. I wash the dishes. Right? Okay. So let's continue with the second question. We have have dinner you did in last night. You have dinner last night. Did you do you have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? Exactly. So we write did you have dinner last night? Okay, next one. Go to work yesterday you did. Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? To work yesterday. yesterday. And the question mark once again. And the last one says, go to the movies they did on Wednesday. Did they go to the movies? Did they, did they go, go to on the movies? Wednesday? Exactly. Um, on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, pretty good. So um, some things to remember. First of all, we need a capital letter to start. Iniciamos con letra mayúscula. De igual forma, como es una oración interrogativa, pues siempre seguimos la regla de la mayúscula inicial. 
And then at the end, you always need the question mark. También al final siempre necesitamos el signo de pregunta, el signo de interrogación, pues para indicar que estamos interrogando, que estamos preguntando. Also, something important is that we use a capital letter for the days of the week. También los días de la semana inician con letra mayúscula. Así que este Wednesday debería de ir con la W en mayúscula. Okay, do we have any, <coughs> sorry, do we have any questions? No, we are. no, no, no questions. questions. Okay, no questions. so that will be all for no today's question. class. Thank you very much. Take care and have a good night. Thank, Thank you. you, teacher. Have a nice good night, night. Good teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Be careful. Bye. Be careful. Yes, I think I heard somebody saying teacher. No sé si tienen una yo, pregunta. Yo okay, tengo so una me. consulta. Ya terminé eh, lo de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Y hoy mismo recibí un mensaje eh, de parte de, me decían que era inglés corporativo. Eh, para el, como el siguiente módulo creo, pero eh, según entendí, era, empezaba como la otra semana creo yo. No me recuerdo bien, pero sí me daba fecha de principios de noviembre. Entonces tenía esa consulta. ¿Será que de este mismo o se han equivocado o no sé? Eh, no, pasa que ahora estamos reuniendo los documentos para inscribir al próximo módulo. Entonces la fecha límite para entregar los documentos sería el martes 3 de noviembre. Y luego el curso, uh -huh. este, este módulo lo terminamos el 6 de noviembre. Y tentativamente, todavía no sabemos, pero tentativamente iniciaríamos el próximo, el 11 de noviembre, nos han comentado. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, por el momento lo que necesitamos es que envíen los documentos para poder hacer la inscripción. Y pues seguimos okay. normal con este módulo. Si ya completó la plataforma, perfecto. Y si no, pues igual tenemos hasta la próxima semana para hacerlo. Uh -huh. Y otra consulta, eh, hablaban ayer, si no mal recuerdo, de, del diploma, eso no lo entendí, ah, eh, okay. porque eh, al menos a mí no me aparece nada. Sí, fíjese que todavía no están disponibles los diplomas, según me comentaban, yo consulté y me dijeron que hoy en la tercera semana iban a estar. Así que supongo que será al final de la semana, tal vez por ahí por jueves o viernes deben estar disponibles. Y se descargan en la partecita donde dice Progress. Ah. Ahí en el Progress, al completar el 80%, le debe de habilitar la opción de descargar el diploma. Pues ahí nada más los que ya completaron, esperar a que esta opción se habilite. Ok. Ok, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Take care, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow, teacher.